Manatee County is teaming up with FEMA to assess the damage left behind by Tropical Storm Hermine. Officials have been touring dozens of neighborhoods to determine if the county should receive federal relief for those affected by the storm. ABC 7's Dwayne Lindo has the latest. Jane Springhouse of Park Acres Estates in Bradenton is still feeling the effects after her home was flooded by Hermine. I have been a, a wreck. Her kitchen and most of her home gutted out. And just across the street at Burgundy Condominiums, Nancy Sitter watched in horror as her home was being destroyed. But after the water came through, it took everything with it, and it took the guard, it took the pillows, it took, and everything just floated away. Many of her neighbors in the complex have similar stories as personal items were laid out after homes were flooded. The Federal Emergency Management Agency took the week to assess damage caused by Hermine. And while in the county, FEMA's main focus, talking with residents affected by the storm. This is all about how much damage did you sustain, what was affected from their perception, how deep was the water, and also some basic questions like, did they have flood insurance? Manatee County's emergency management chief, Don Hermy, says FEMA determined the storm caused a little over $1.1 million worth of damage after completing a tour of the county's public infrastructure. But the county must prove there was more damage to receive what's called a presidential declaration, where federal relief will trickle down to communities such as Pine Acres and Burgundy. Our goal is to get to 1.3. We are still collecting information, and we do have the opportunity with FEMA to submit information on further damages that they did not see when they were here. Overall, the state of Florida must show they sustained a minimum of $25 million worth of damage. Next week, FEMA, along with the U.S. Corps of Engineers, will look at coastal areas in the county to assess damage. They look at the beaches, they look at the erosion, and because we are a major tourism destination, we want to focus in on is there a renourishment opportunity with any kind of FEMA declaration that may occur. Hermie says FEMA may make a decision on the presidential declaration in as soon as a couple weeks. Alex, back to you.